Hey, how you doing? I'm Dr. Matthew Fink, and this is Dr. Terry Certain. Um, he's our guest today on the podcast, and he's going to talk a little bit uh, about how he got into chiropractic, um, adjusting animals. So I went back to school. I graduated from animal chiropractic school in 2004, September of 2004. And so from that point on, Dr. Certain has adjusted Humans, dogs, horses, mules, goats, mini donkeys, cats, donkeys, chickens, mini horses. I've adjusted humans and really only two of my dogs only because it's absolutely necessary. So he has a lot more experience with vertebrae, with different different um, sizes and, and how they're put together. So um, there are a couple different ways that you can get into Dr. Terry's uh, office, whether at Cave Springs or into the place where he actually adjusts animals. And you can find, you can hear all that on our podcast today. Um, and then uh, a couple of our people that work for Midwest Family Wellness also take their dogs or have referred people. So if you ever hear us talk about Dr. Ser uh, Dr. Terry Certain and where we send our animals, this is the guy. This is the guy. And um, this is Jake somewhere. Hello? There he is. There he is. This is somebody's pet that, that works here. So Jake came into me with a, cer a neck problem, a cervical problem. After some adjustments, his neck was fine. And it's just like we do with humans. We just do adjustments on canines, cats, horses, you name it. Yeah. So if you think that your animal or your loved one or your loved animal has a problem with uh, uh, subluxations or misalignments or the bones being stuck in a certain position, be sure to check out Dr. Terry Certain. This is Honor, and Honor had a, a bout of vestibular, and she's uh, having a series of a few adjustments to kind of get everything back into better working order as far as her spine and her other joints are concerned. So come on here, babe. Let's see what's going on. Alright, good girl. Good girl. So just like with a human patient, we check the alignment and or the movement of each joint. Make sure nothing's stuck, and if something is stuck, and her fifth cervical is stuck here, we do an adjustment to free up the, the joint. We should check the thoracic area. This is what's called motion palpation. I push to check and see how the joint may be stuck. And if it is stuck, then I adjust it accordingly. Being a very good patient. her left sacroiliac joint that was stuck there. As you can tell, she enjoys this. So I'm checking the ribs. That's all there is to it.